Welcome back everyone. Today we have made our own snack crate of sorts. We went to Ikea and grabbed all of their snacks that didn't look like they were from around here. So it's an Ikea snack haul. We even got a box of Ikea cinnamon buns. Yes, we did. We got two dime items, thinking they were two separate things, but they are kind of the same thing. They're both milk chocolate candy with crunchy caramel almond pieces. So we're going to try these two in their two different forms. Yep, I think that'd be good. So the first item we're gonna try is these. Fest licked potato chips with sour cream and onion flavor. Unlike something we pegged as sour cream before. It actually is sour cream. This should actually have some sour cream. So we'll begin with the smell test. It smells like potato chips. It definitely smells like potato chips. It smells less sharp than uh, salt and vinegar chips. It's got some green flecks on there. It does. Don't flex on us, chip. <laughs> Tastes like a good sour cream and onion kettle chip. Some big chip. They can get pretty big in here. So those were really good. They were really good. I definitely got the sour cream this time. I did. I'm pretty sure I taste the onion. Yeah, I did too. But it was also a good kettle chip. Yes, it was kind of like a kettle chip. Not as crispy as a kettle chip. Not quite as crispy, but imagine a strongly flavored kettle chip. Yeah. With strong sour cream. And onion flavor. Onion and also some salt. And salt. So those were good. They were good. Next, we're going to go with regular potato chips and salt. <sighs> Smells like potato chips. Oh, I see the chip I want. Oh, you want a specific chip? I love Oh. I love folded chips. He likes taco chips. I do. Yep, smell like a potato chip. Look at that one. That's a pretty chip. I will have to say with the they are actually more crispy than the sour, sour cream and onion one. So who knew? Ikea was the place to go for delicious kettle chips. <laughs> they were delicious. I was expecting them to not be as exciting. They did taste a little bit crispier than the sour cream and onions. Still a good taste and a great texture. Just the right amount of salt for chips. It was crispy and crunchy. Crispy and crunchy. Now I have an item I've been having my eye on. It's not candy. Next we're going to try these Scorpor cardamom, cardamom crisp rolls. Now I don't know what cardamom is, so hopefully whatever that is, it's good. Not very many ingredients. Sweet flour, sugar, canola oil, yeast, salt, and cardamom. Ooh, there's a smell coming out of the bag to get me. Uh-oh. Smells like toast. I don't know. There's some sort of herby or spicy smell, which I'm going to assume is the cardamom. Looks like a little roll. It does. And we're definitely going to have to vacuum after these because they look very crunchy and crummy. That smell is really good. It does smell good. So the question in the, for the comments is, do the tops and bottoms taste different? And if they do, which one's your favorite? Those were delicious. They were good. They were very crunchy. And they lived up to my expectations. They were like uh, super dried out, maybe rebaked little rolls. That's definitely a taste I haven't had before. The 
the spice, but it's a gentle spice. It was very gentle. Not a scary spice. I would have loved to have those again because they were nice and crispy and crunchy. Crispy and mm -hmm. crunchy. I mean, they were really crunchy. They were very crunchy. They were very dry. I like that. So if you like big dry bread with uh, cardamom, it was very mild. Uh, so it had a strong smell, but a mild taste. Very good. Whatever cardamom is, it's, it's fine by me. It was good. So those were good. Those were good. Next. Next. Next, we're going to go with these Knockbrod Rog or Rog. I'm not sure how to pronounce the A with the halo, like an angel. I feel like these are going to be very crummy. Yes. Definitely going to have to do a good cleaning after today's snack haul. Yes. We're having technical difficulties, which... Oh, there we go. There's a string. It smells like rye. It's like a dry rye. Yeah, they're very textured on the bottom. Very grainy and bumpy. They were out, out of all the snacks that were so far my least favorite. <coughs> I think it was too Dry. I think it was too dry. I think it needed maybe a little more salt. Salt? Or just something to bring out the flavor. I don't know. I think it would actually be good with like a something cheese on top or something. Something moist? Yeah, something moist. I can't speak because my salivary glands are trying to recoup. Now, besides being so dry, they were actually really good. I imagine that's what Lembus bread tasted like. So super dry, super rye. That was good. Got no tears to cry because they're all sucked up. <laughs> Next. So we're going to try, I'll let her butcher the words. Got to pin it all on me. <laughs> yeah. These are cafe rep, cafe rep cookies with raspberry flavored filling. Yum. I love raspberries. They're about my favorite fruit. Are they about or are they actually your favorite fruit? I love blackberries too. Hopefully there's not a string somewhere. When you get cylindrical IKEA snack packages, look for this string instead of just being a barbarian. So they look like they have a pretty raspberry filled heart on the front. I smell the raspberry. Me too. I figured they were just going to be flat cookies with raspberry filling. I thought so too. But we have an Oreo type cookie. Let's begin. Those were awesome. That was very good. Which I would love to have another one. Perfect cookie texture. And the raspberry gel filling was pretty gummy, actually. Was? It was a gummy texture rather than... Jelly a, one? Yeah, like a soft jelly. Those were really good. They were. Excellent. These are good. They are. So next, we're gonna go with these dummels. Dummel? I hope that's not dumle. A double whammy of chewy toffee and chocolate. Mm, that sounds good. So hopefully it's going to be some chewy toffee. Here it says soft toffee covered with milk chocolate. So I could certainly use some chewy toffee instead of dental. Cement tooth filling. Uh, as soon as I cut the bag open, I am assaulted with a smell, um, which I first mistaken for flatulence. She did. <laughs> Looked right at me. 
No. Hmm. <laughs> smells like chocolate. Giving it a smell. I smell the toffee. Let's throw it in there. Toffee really likes to get your teeth, don't it? It does. Even the soft one. Even the soft one is like a dental mold when they push it in your teeth and it just gets everywhere. And for the taste though. Uh, for the taste. It tastes uh, mild toffee. I like, I do prefer the dime we had. You like the dental cement dime better? I did. Um, I can't really tell the difference in taste, I guess. Guess I'm not a huge fan. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. I would certainly appreciate it if someone offered them to me. Guess I'm not a toffee lover. Guess it's just the textures I can't get past. So those were pretty good. They were. Up next, we're gonna have these Polly Original. So here's a word that we can pronounce. Polly with a taste of chocolate, a rack, a rock, butter toffee, and vanilla. I'm not sure what a rock is. I have never heard that word. I haven't either. We got some different colors here. They look uh, very interesting. There is a smell. A weird chocolate. Interestingly, it kind of smells like dark chocolate to me. You want to grab a dark one and a light one and hope we get different, different flavor? Yeah, so we'll see what we get here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to identify a rock for you. I won't either. So we'll try this dark one. Tastes like a gummy. Like a very gummy marshmallow. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that was the vanilla. So we'll try this lighter one. Not sure what flavor it is. Now that one tasted the same, only the chocolate is a bit different. Yeah. Something inside tasted different. Mm -hmm. Or at least for me. Hmm. I mean you got a different one. Maybe. I'm not sure. I think I got the same inside. We'll have to try another dark one for science. Two dark ones I got in the, definitely the same flavor. Now that one was harder and chewier and wasn't quite as vanilla. I am not sure what flavor that was though. I can't figure out any of the flavors. I'm gonna guess with how hard it was to chew it was butter toffee at it again. I can definitely tell when I got a vanilla one because the vanilla flavor is strong. I haven't trouble describing all the flavors, but see how I like them all. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Unless the colors are playing tricks on me, I think the lighter chocolate is sweeter. Unless the insides contributed to that. So those were interesting. I would eat them again. I would definitely eat those. So next I'm going to choose this Belonging. Beloning is the rewarding taste of truly good chocolate. Milk chocolate with wild blueberries. Not tame blueberries. Picturing some blueberry going wild. Blueberries gone wild. Jumping around and not wanting to go where they're supposed to go. Making juice falling off the bush. Let's see if we can smell the wild blueberries. I know I can smell domestic blueberries. <sighs> I smell the blueberry. I, yeah, I do smell the blueberry. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can taste the blueberry. Mm. Very mild. It complements the chocolate very well, though. I would love to go back and get more. Yes, it was good milk chocolate with a good blueberry flavor. It wasn't wild, so that was good. That was good. Let's move on to another one of these bars with fruit. Ooh, we're gonna have white chocolate with raspberry. Ooh. Look at that interestingness. Look at all that raspberry goodness. All right, I'm a bit excited about these. It smells... Actually, don't smell it. Yeah, I smell white chocolate. I don't. I don't smell the raspberries. Let's see if we can taste the white chocolate. Mm. 
first thing that comes out to me is that the raspberries are more flavorful in the white chocolate than the blueberries were in the milk chocolate. But I guess they weren't wild raspberries. I guess they're not wild raspberries. But they taste more wild than the blueberries. They do. These things have been mislabeled. Yeah, these are wild. The white chocolate was really good. It was a nice sweet white chocolate. Sometimes white chocolate can be waxy a little bit. Yeah, it can. Rapid fire. Milk chocolate with lingonberries. Do you think it could be a little slightly sour? I'm not sure. Are lingonberries sour to you? The lingonberry juice is been kind of slightly sour usually. Hmm. That's not a chocolate. I don't know if I smell the lingonberries. berries. I smell chocolate too. The lingonberry berry does stick out more than the blueberry did. They do. Look, if I eat a whole bar, do I get a serving of fruit? <laughs> out of the three fruit bars, what was your favorite out of those three? I'd say, uh, to say the lindenberry, like the blueberry looked good, good chocolate, but the blueberry just wasn't wild enough. Wild enough. What about you? I'm gonna have to say the raspberry and white chocolate. It was a really good white chocolate. I do have to agree with that. It was a very good white chocolate. And when white chocolate is good, it kind of beats chocolate to me. Of course, I did go in biased as soon as. You mix those two things up for me. Next. Oh my god, it's so cute. This bunny has IKEA instructions. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's adorable. That's adorable. Let's build this bunny and then complain that we don't understand pictures. <laughs> so here is his pieces. This is a Varkonsla. Barkunsla. Kind of looks like a jackalope. We're just gonna take little bits of his ears here. It smells like chocolate. It does. Tastes like chocolate. Well, if I got that as the Easter chocolate bunny, it'd be much better than some of the other Easter bunnies out there. That was some pretty good <laughs> Easter bunny chocolate. It's rabbit season. Not too unlike a Hershey Kiss or a Hershey bar. No. That was definitely better than your average Easter bunny. Yes, it was. Next, we're gonna try these two dimes. We see the word marabou again. We got a marabou Oreo cookies candy bar from our Sweden snack crate. So I'm wondering if Marabou is the type of chocolate. Brand name. We have a big long roll here of Marabou dime. This cutting board is getting chocolified. All right, are you ready to try dental cement coin? Yeah. taste it and I feel it but it seems like there's so little of it in there it's not like the dime bar now that I liked you got little bits of the toffee in there like uh, I guess about the size of sea salt yeah just peppered in there and then it mixed with the melting chocolate in your mouth now do you see what I was tasting about a little bit more harsh flavor from the it is a stronger coffee flavor. Even with the little granules, the little crystals this time. I definitely like dime in this form. She does. <laughs> I can tell. So uh, I'm gonna have to look up and see what marabou means. Let's open this bar up. Next we have the marabou dime in bar form. And that's not even its final form. Those are big squares. It smells like the... It smells just like the... Little ones. Mm. These are good. I do prefer the little round ones a little better. 
but I like them both better than the normal dime bar. Me too. It's a perfect amount of toffee to chocolate ratio. Uh, even the chocolate is really good. It doesn't even taste like normal chocolate to me. It tastes like it has a taste in it. It was good though. Those were both good. I didn't quite detect the almonds either, although on to the beverages. We're gonna have this Drick Rhubarber. So that's rhubarb drink concentrate. It says to mix one part rhubarb into four parts water. So that's what we've done here. So it's five ounces of, four ounces of water to one ounce of the rhubarb. Our water is very, very gently pink now. It is. Very subtle. Who's Whirlpool? <sighs> Who's Whirlpool is bigger, folks? Hurt. All right. So we'll try a smell. No smell. Smells like water. <laughs> and we'll give it a sip. Interesting. Wow. Never thought I would ever try rhubarb drink. Mm. Wow. That is neat. I'm glad we didn't try it without putting it in water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is definitely very interesting. It is. I drink it all. It was nice and tasty. I've never thought I would ever have a rhubarb drink. It was actually very sweet. I've never had rhubarb before. I'm not sure what it tastes like. Actually, until now, I have an idea. I have an idea what watery rhubarb tastes like. It was sweet, but kind of vegetable-y. It's like a sweet vegetable. <laughs> That's, it was good. It was good. That was good. Should we shake these? Yeah, shake them up to distribute the flavor. I'll let you open it. Since you told me to do it. <laughs> so I think we should start with the pear flavored drink just because usually pear flavors are more mild more mild than apple flavors especially apple cider apple cider is very strong yes these are ciders ecologus cider paron so you put your straw in you see when a boy straw likes a girl straw all right let's give it a smell Smells like cider. It does smell like cider. I get the hint of pear. I think I can taste it. Smell the pear. I can't taste it yet. <laughs> I taste it now. Wow, that's good. It is good. I've never had pear cider. I think we should have it more. We should. I guess the next time we're at Ikea, we should pick up some more cans. I think we'll grab a case of those. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring it home by the pallet. <laughs> it was actually good. So I dare say uh, that it's better than apple ciders that I've had. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried to try the apple cider now. Uh -oh. Because I know apple ciders can be really strong and I liked that pear cider because it was mild. It was mild. Next, we're going to try the cider apple. Swedish apple cider beverage, which is also organic. All right, let's get our thralliols again. Yeah, I think I smell the apple. I smell the apple. So here we go. I taste the apple. Tastes like a milder, what we used to have at Thanksgiving kids wine, which was sparkling cider. It is a milder, less sharp. It's not um, bad actually. No, it's not bad. So both the pear and apple ciders were good. They were. I will have to favor the pear. I can't decide because they're both very good. All right. So this looks more cinnamony. So you're going to have that side. And then we'll give it a smell. Cinnamon. Yep. Sugar. Pastry. Yep. Uh, very strong cinnamon. Let's put this in. When 
when IKEA Baltimore opened, I was eight in 1989. Do that math. Always a family favorite, except for her. She's not a huge fan of cinnamon either. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> If it's popular and people like it, then you can bet I don't. <laughs> have some of this pear cider to wash down that cinnamon. Well, we have five more to drink, eat. Mm. They're nice and fluffy and nice and cinnamony and sugary. They're very good. They are soft and doughy. They're dense. Uh, they have a lot of cinnamon, not quite enough icing to combat all that cinnamon but they are cinnamon rolls so if you like cinnamon and you like rolls you will like those cinnamon rolls you will like those cinnamon rolls and they taste fresh it did taste fairly fresh despite being a few days old and preserved in the fridge <laughs> yeah so out of our huge ikea snack haul here which was your favorite item kind of sound weird cardamom crisp rolls are actually one of my my favorite thing oh wow i figured it would be some form of chocolate <laughs> and the least favorite can you guess uh the rye crackers they yeah those were my least favorite things for my favorite i'm really torn between two things rye crackers and i also really liked the sour cream and onion chips I guess I'm trying to picture myself snuggling up on a couch and wanting to have a cheat day while pigging out and watching a movie. So I think I would grab the chips. I definitely would. So the chips would have to be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Although they're, they're closely followed by the rye crackers. So what was your least favorite? My least favorite would have to be these dummels. I guess I could just do without the texture. I don't know. It's The taste wasn't bad. The chocolate's not bad. Just my least favorite texture. When something comes out and wants to crown my teeth for me. We really enjoyed the puzzled look of the cashier at Ikea <laughs> as we shopped out their whole snack rack section there. <laughs> so this was really fun. It was very fun. And we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. Yeah, we do. Uh, hopefully, we picked all the Swedish-type snacks out of Ikea. Hopefully, you'll join us again soon when we get our next snack crate and Universal Yums and even our Tokyo Treat Box, which was held up at the... Cincinnati. Yeah, held up in Cincinnati for a few days. I assume uh, Customs had a little bit of a problem with it. If you could take just a second, please like and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know when our next video comes out because we're pretty sporadic right now. No posting schedule. No, we don't have one. And you don't want to miss the next time we get weird things and I make weird faces and can't stand all the stuff that normal people like. And but your names and butcher names, bad lighting, traffic noise. So we hope to see you on one of those videos or maybe you could check out an old video. Like the Brazil. See you later. Bye. You're a mess. <laughs> Should record the, you're a mess. Put that in. Yeah, if I can reach from here. It does look like that. I figured they would score poor. Oh. She's losing it.